Good afternoon, madam. We received a call telling us you had had an accident. I don't know if it is an accident, but I have a serious problem here. I'm so worried. Okay, first, I need you to relax. I'm here to help you, okay? Take a deep breath and tell me. I can't take it easy. I'm so worried. I had called you one hour before I started crying. I know I'm a little late, but we had received another call near your home too. I don't care about any other calls. What I want is you to help me solve my problem. All right, but you need to calm first and tell me everything so I can help you, okay? Well, it's my husband. Yesterday, we were having dinner. He went out and didn't come. I see. Had he told you where he was going to go before leaving the house? He hadn't told me anything. If he had, I wouldn't have called you. Don't you think? Okay, madam. I need you to tell me exactly what had happened before he left. We had arrived home at about 6 p.m. and then we started talking about something. Okay, what have you talked about? It is important to know where he could have gone. Well, before coming home, he had mentioned something about a trip. A trip. Where did he want to go or had he told you to go to any specific place? No, no. He was telling me about a trip he wanted to make in the future. Look, if you want us to help you, you really need to be more specific, okay? He didn't tell me where he wanted to go. He had just asked me to go anywhere. Just you two? Madam, do you have any children at home right now? No, we don't have any children. We had just gotten married and we decided to move. So, you both have just moved to this neighborhood. Then, is that correct? Yeah, we had thought about moving to this town before getting married, in fact. So, since you're new here, is there any possibility that he could get lost? No, no, I don't think so. We moved last year. He had known all the streets around. I see. You haven't told me yet. What had happened just before he left home? Well, we had arrived home before to start discussing about this trip he wanted to make. So, you were discussing about that then? Had you fought during this discussion? Maybe a little, I don't know. He was angry with me. He was really angry. Is there any specific reason why he had gotten angry with you? Tell me. I just didn't want him to leave home alone. He had said he wanted to travel alone. But you had told me before that he wanted to go with you, and not alone, am I right? He told me to go with him, but I didn't want to. 
So he said he was going anyway. Then, there is a possibility that he had already decided to go without you. No, that is impossible. We had just gotten married last year. Did you hear that? I'm sorry, missus. But as far as I can see this situation, it seems he had done that. There's no way. I refuse to believe it. We loved each other a lot, you know? Listen. I really want to help you find your husband. I need you to tell me more. I already told you everything about the situation. What else do you want from me? I need you to remember something that can help us find him. Any clue will help. Well, last week he had drunk beer before he left home. He doesn't usually do that. Had he been drinking recently or he only did that on that day and that not anymore? No, he never drinks alcohol. He hadn't drunk it, never, before that day. Okay, that can help. Is there any unusual behavior of him that you could have noticed? Well, he hadn't smoked either until yesterday. After fighting, he started smoking. You're going well. I need to know, had he ever attacked you before these actions? What? No! What are you saying? He will never do that. Never. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, but I need to ask everything since that is my work, missus. No, your work is to find my husband and you're doing nothing to find him. I can feel you, believe me. But first, we need to know all the details. That can help us. He hadn't done something like this before. I don't know what happened to him. Is there anyone else whom we can ask for more information? A friend, maybe? He has just one friend, but he's not here. His name is Alonso. He had traveled. Alonso, okay. This Alonso, when did he exactly travel? Do you know? I think he had traveled last week before my husband started smoking and drinking. Okay, is there any way we can contact Alonso? Maybe a phone number or something? No, I don't have any information about him. But if he knew, he would tell me. Okay, is there anyone else we can contact with? A co-worker or any other friend? Oh, wait, I think I remember something. He had mentioned something. What has he mentioned? Anything can help us, remember. Just tell me. Oh, I think I know where he can be now. He had told me he wanted to go camping. Go camping? Had he gone camping alone before this happened? Yeah, when I first met him, he told me he had gone camping many times before. Do you have any idea where he could have gone camping alone? Any place? 
Now that I remember, he had bought some tickets for going camping to the national park. All right. Had you already called the national park to ask if your husband is there? No, no, I just remembered that. But I'm sure he's there. I'm sure now. Why are you so sure about it? Is there anything you're not telling us? Well, he had booked a place for camping before he told me to travel with him. Alright, I can see. So you didn't want to go and he went alone. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. But he had told me he will go. It's just that I hadn't remembered. Don't worry, missus. We will call anyway, okay? Just to check everything is fine. Alright. I'm really embarrassed about this. I'm really, really sorry. Don't worry. It happens more than you could imagine. Have a good day. I hope you really liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more with this video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, if you have any idea for a next video, just write it in the comments. Take care.